to Land of Old, in English Land of Ava, uh, an abandoned amusement park that uh, ran from two, uh, 1989 till 2007. It went bankrupt and due to further courses and it was specially made for children. Children with a bus here. So, welcome! Unfortunately, just our luck once again, <laughs> when we go to a location, that building <laughs> a lot of uh, the cool a stuff is um, off limits with gates and cameras. And I don't want, like last time, <laughs> to have to go to my ass again. So, yeah, they're gonna change this castle, they'll transform it into a hotel and a restaurant. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, I, someday I will come back here to, to have some lunch and maybe stay the night. That'd be lit. So a little history about this park is that it was developed by uh, an em employee of the Efteling uh, who did not agree with the Efteling turning into a real amusement park like having um, a roller coasters and more uh, developed rides. Uh, this person was more about nights and fairy tales and keeping it for for the smaller children. He did not get the time was moving on and that's why he built this park. So it's quite beautiful. Uh, it was in the middle of the forest. He even used a real castle which we already showed. Dyed it pink. Luckily, it's changed back to original color. I really hate the thing. It was a, it was an amazing idea, but it wasn't. It did not fit the time anymore. The time it had to move on, and people want something different. They tried several things to promote the park by creating um, TV shows, uh, uh, candy. I think it was. Uh, books, everything to make sure people would come to the park. They even had this character, Kloontje, who was a giant uh, five-year-old uh, running through the park and being the hero of the series. And uh, even though she was funny, she wasn't enough to keep uh, the people here. Uh, I even met her once, I don't remember much of it, uh, being here and be like, okay, where am I? I've been here before, but I don't know where I am. Uh, she, uh, she, when I met her, she even told me she ate 14 ice creams on one day. That's how much she had to eat to uh, maintain her character, which must be, have been very stressful. I don't think she'll, she'll, eat, ever, she'll ever eat ice cream again. Um, another thing is to note is that people really hated that the children were in charge here. So the parents did not want to come here because they literally uh, didn't have anything to say about the children. They had to get a sort of visa to get into the park. They were talking about visa and it was insane but they did try their best for the children but too much for the children. They didn't think of the parents and of the costs and of it being close to the afternoon and not being more modern. So yeah, let's uh, check the forest out and see what we'll find.
see the road is in pretty bad shape at some parts. That's how long it's been abandoned already. And yeah, this is amazing. It's really beautiful here. Lots of nature. It was a cool plan but just didn't work out. The Efteling Amusement Park, which most of you guys know, is like 50 minutes from here and yeah, it took all the customers. Hence the, this park couldn't kept going, it went uh, bankrupt for that reason. Mm. So the, the, the park did improve over time, but it still wasn't enough to generate money. Uh, they also uh, had uh, one animal that was uh, the picture of um, well, yeah, the picture of the um, of the theme park. I don't know how to call it, but they had this animal everywhere. It was the swan. I don't know if it was because the swan princess was really popular when this park came to its root, but it could very well be. Um, another thing is that they try to get their own uh, currency, which is really weird. And people didn't like that either. But they really tried their best by creating theatrical shows and trying to create a form of medieval entertainment, jousting even, which went terribly wrong. But one person did die here. We could have shown the place this person died, but well, there's a fence around it and I'm not going to risk it. I'm really bad at, at climbing, but Wesley wants to risk it. So you'll see it with him. You'll see the train tracks and where this person died, maybe. Let's hope so, but yeah. Um, which again shows jousting is very dangerous. Even Henry VIII almost died jousting, so. Uh, yeah. And I think this must have been the entrance or something. I'm, I have been here as a child, but I don't remember. But it's really beautiful. If you look at like this way and you turn right that way, you'll see the entrance of the castle. It's quite beautifully done. I really think this must have been the entrance. I think so, because it has this unique look like you're visiting a real castle. What do you think? This. It's beautiful.
fun fact, everywhere in this amusement park, which is abandoned, were little clues and hints for children to, to have some fun. They had to look in the forest and on buildings and on rides to find Mostly them and trees. solve them. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. Oh. And now the park has been taken over by trees. It's so much. Wow, it's more tree than actually park. And if you look there, you see the castle again. Shall I try to zoom in? And there you go. The castle. Sorry, I was grabbing a bottle of water. Amazing, isn't it? And that's how far away we are from the castle right now, but we'll return to the castle soon. Look where we found a lake. It's so beautiful. It really has this certain atmosphere among the trees and the sky, which is far more clear than the last few days. We finally have some weather we can enjoy. Well, not Wesley, but well, Wesley wants to be in Sweden. <laughs> Don't you? Always hot. Huh? Yeah, even PewDiePie ran away, ran away from the from the cold. So learn to like the hot weather. But okay. Uh, look how amazing this is. The shadow of the trees in the river. It's absolutely stunning. Wow. It's amazing to look at this. And hard to believe it still exists here in the Netherlands, where they build a house every. Well, every meter they can find, literally. But it's, it's amazing. Beautiful. We're heading back to the castle and the only ride that's left, there were 17 rides here. Uh, we're going to tell about the ride. It's about uh, the Battle of Waterloo, Strijd uh, van Waterloo, in Dutch. It's about Napoleon, uh, how he sank. It's quite a mystery. And well, we're also going to talk about why this part went back to the well, I told, I told you about the various courses, uh, but before it went bankrupt, they even tried to revive it by creating it a park of Sinterklaas for an entire month. Sinterklaas is a, is a Dutch and Belgian, well, Flemish feast for children that don't get candy and uh, toys like Santa Claus. And it didn't work. That was in 2006. In 2007, the park went bankrupt. It had many debts. And it was also clear the, the daughter who had taken over the park, who is now the owner of Wally Bee here in the Netherlands, uh, had, uh, her parents were uh, the ones who caused the debt and were for this. Look at duck. Sorry, I have to say it. I love animals. A male duck. The parents of her were very much into gaining money and creating parks the way they wanted to while the parks weren't gaining any money. So where was the money coming from? They were caught in Belgium, they were locked up in Belgium, even the son was locked up, only the daughter still runs parks because they have uh, they cannot run park for at least 10 years. I don't know if they're still locked up. I think they are, but they in the, they went to they turned to criminal to uh, criminal acts. Sorry, I had to say a bit different. Uh, in order to make the parks they want to, was it worth it? Was it? Here's the last right left of the amusement park. I don't know exactly what kind of ride it was. We will show you a picture of that in the video. But this is what's left, left of it. A lot of dolls. The story goes they were enchanted and had to stand still in the water the, for in eternity. Standing still in water for eternity? Who knew? That one is almost drowned. <laughs> Look! Really rare for dolls in like 
a pond of water. Awesome though. The park used to be, um, they used to have two areas. The rock route, the ruige route, and the giant route, the route, uh, the, the reuze route. It's, and you can even see pictures. I will include those pictures or even film material if you can find it and are able to use it of the giants who stood here in the park. I really hope they kept them, but no, they removed them. Uh, and that's what it was all about, the giants and the rocked part. What's still left is, well, this right, the castle, and a bit of the theater shows they held, that from the gardens. I don't know what it's supposed to be, but it had something to do with the gardens, I barely remember. And uh, some tra train tracks, but I don't know if we can get to the train tracks and to the theater part, but I should we'll try. First I have to say a bit about the castle, I think, that's also polite, isn't it? So I'd like to tell you a bit about the backstory of this 16th century castle, which was used for the park, dyed pink, and now luckily transformed back into its original color. The park, this castle was built by a French cat. The, well, this castle was called Castle de Ultramont. And the French name was given to the castle because the French, it was a French cat married to the daughter who, of the person who made this castle. The original car name of the castle is Stenenburg. And um, well, it doesn't have a particular purpose yet, even though it's been renovated, but soon it will be a hotel and a restaurant, apparently. We've just been told this bill, and they even made it more crowded here by creating houses. Yeah. Most of the park has been uh, torn down in 2015, apart from <laughs> the right we saw there. The castle and behind the castle uh, was left of the theatre shows. It's not much, but still you can't see if they, they existed. And the train tracks. Again, we don't know if we can show it to you because there are many cameras there. But she will still try. And it's amazing the castle has been in its original state, but this is all that's left. It's been taken over by nature. It's looking like its original 19th century form. And we hope it will stay that way and still honor this place as it should be. Alright guys, once again, risking my butt for you, because hey, I want to try to show you guys the most of this place. Then we have on the side of the castle, let me zoom in a bit, that's the side. On the left there, there was the front, with loads of cameras, and as you guys know, I don't want to run again from security and I have to escape them, like last video. <laughs> Even though we managed to escape, jeez, it's not fun to run like that. I hope we get some, some stuff which is left from the park, like old rice or anything like that. I see houses on my right here, so... 
I hope they don't spot and call someone. But yeah, they're really changing a lot as you can see. The buildings. I'm gonna try to get a little closer. Man, this place was all nature and still has lots of nature, but a lot of buildings, houses are being built right now. But yeah, like 15 to 20 years ago, there was just a lot of children park and activity right here. Not another fence right here. And I can't show you guys much. Because I really removed everything right there. Alright. I managed to get well slight best of fence. Literally, this is this is the back. Maybe we can even see the misses. Nah. This was it. The back side, but as I said, everything is being demolished and yeah, getting built ready for the hotel and restaurant. And over here, we have a little bridge. Which is awesome. Can't get too close. Because I'm already. Yeah, everything is fenced off. Holy shit, look at this. I didn't even know this. Look how cool. Brothers. It's a tunnel. Damn. This was a huge tunnel. Some minutes here. Okay, I they fenced off the whole tunnel. I already climbed two fences. This was the tunnel, guys. That's the only thing I can find intact. Look how cool. Light at the end of the tunnel! Oh, there we are. Wow. Yes. <laughs> How far back is the castle again? Jeez, did not even I could zoom in like that. Pretty awesome. One of the fences I have to get past there. Hello guys! Hello. Thank you for joining <laughs> us for to Land van Ooy. Thank you for watching our video Thank about you. the Land van Ooy, the abandoned amusement park.
I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, see you next time. Wish you a beautiful day, guys. See you in the next video. Bye bye. See ya.